And we are live. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Zach. And I'm Mitchell. This is our journey to med school. Get into that MD. MD DO. Or DO. That's right. How are you doing, Zach? How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm alive, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> COVID. Yeah, true. That's that's the way to go. Yeah. Um Yeah, today was today was really interesting. Today was today was a, a very interesting day for me. I had to do a lot of uh, errands and stuff. What about you? What did you what did you do today? Went for walks, you know. Not oh. Much. <laughs> hey, trying to get that trying to get that oxygen in. It's any fresh air. I'm on a computer all day. Yeah, so. that's true. So, Sack, tell me about your undergrad. So, yeah, my undergrad, I went to UPG, which is the University of Pittsburgh at Greensburg, for two years as a pre-pharmacy student. Uh, the classes I took are pretty much the same thing you take as a typical pre-med, so your chemistry, your biology, your biochemistry, if you want to take that. Some schools require it. How, also, how was that school? Uh, the school was good. Uh, really no complaints about it. Now, if you look up the graduation rate, the graduation rate's only 36%. Oh, so. wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened ever since I left there, but I think it's going downhill since last time I looked, so it's not looking too wow. good. So what about yeah. you? Where did you go? Um, I went to Indiana University, um, but unlike you, I did not take any of my pre-med class, pre classes um, on the first like three years. So I, I pretty much, my senior year, I started took the uh pre-med required classes like organic chemistry uh anatomy physiology uh biology class um that was it but, so so you are you are in pharmacy school right now right yeah so my major is pre-pharmacy so pharmacy school is what i'm in right now okay so tell me a little bit more like what what are you so, I mean, just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit, okay. Yeah, it's a lot about pharmacy. We do more than counseling. Yeah, those, definitely. What people think. Uh, so basically, we look at drugs and how they interact with disease states. So cardiology, we look at like statins and blood pressure meds. It's like lisinopril, Lysart, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the main things we emphasize in pharmacy was counseling patients with medication. So someone comes in, they have war friends, so we make sure they're eating a consistent diet, make sure their leafy greens are fine, so it doesn't mess up their... I don't know, which is like how well you clot and stuff or bleed. It's too high, too low. Yeah, you know, and the, the diet part, I think it's really important now that it, it didn't used to be such a big deal. Don't you think like the, the, the importance of diet into medicine? And, and now we're, we're seeing this like shift. I think that's awesome. Yeah, there's a big shift towards medicine. I know the DO pathway really focuses more on this way than the MDs. MDs is more of a give a drug and fix the issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's really messed up. I mean, so, some drugs are necessary, but like other drugs, they're just they're just not. Yeah, there's some you just give them and you just keep adding more and more to them instead of de yeah. What about your major though? It's an interesting one to me since I really didn't know too much about it. Uh, yeah. So I am no no science background at all. I I went to. I went to school. Actually, I was I was in nursing school, um, and I wanted to do a double major because freshman year I I really liked my international studies. It was like uh, it was a political science class one hundred and one, and I fell in love with the class and like the major and I looked more in. And then I asked the professor. I asked her to be my my advisor. I signed up and. So I ended up taking international studies and nursing at the same time. So I was a double major. And uh, like any nursing, nursing student, like psychology was like the easiest path for a minor. So, um, but it wasn't what I wanted. You know what I mean? Like, it's just it, that moment where you just kind of realize like, yeah, is, this is really not for me. So I ended up dropping nursing. However, international studies, it was definitely what I wanted. So I decided to stick with it. What's that? Yeah, maybe you can help me with my psychology then, since you know you had a minor in psychology. Oh, yeah. I, I'm taking <laughs> all the classes that you're going to take. Yeah. Um, but so I wanted to go from, from nursing to, to med school. And 
and that was so so that was like the biggest thing for me like i i wanted to graduate as a nurse and then study a little bit and then take the mcats but then i just realized like why am i taking such a huge detour you know what i mean like why don't i just go right ahead so i decided my senior year to start prepping for for med school so i had to take an extra year take general ec like the prerequisites and stuff and that was just a pain but on my international studies um so i pretty much it was just more like analytical thinking and research so uh just beliefs and values of different states uh, states as in countries not not like as in states yeah i get that detour thing a lot from going pharmacy from a grad major like a pharmacy to a med right so you can a lot. yeah yeah so you can you can cut I mean, but like think about it like you have you have all this like knowledge on on like farm like pharmacology that it's going to be so beneficial for you in med school yeah what? i talked to some doctors who are also pharmacists and they said it was really helpful so yeah i bet it is where on the other hand i'm like going in blind like full-on no science <laughs> no nothing like it's usually the path isn't it the path like usually a biology or chemistry major then you apply to med school yeah that's usually the path usually it's a four-year yeah. degree not a six-year degree yeah but, but I think that's that's really cool on your part, though. So so what are you doing now, Zach? What's what's going on? So as I kind of alluded to earlier, I'm taking classes right now. I'm taking well, I'm starting yeah. Wednesday, taking three classes. Oh wow! Uh, physics two, developmental psychology, and abnormal oh. psychology. Abnormal and developmental, yes, those were fun. Yeah, so I'm, I have four months to take it, but I'm hoping I have a off block from my rotations in November. I'm hoping I can finish this class in about two months instead of four months. Cause oh. it's paced. You are ambitious. So I want to. I want to enjoy COD when it comes out. So I'm trying to get everything done before <laughs> COD. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. I'm also waiting for M MD and DO schools to get back to me. I got rejected from two out of three schools I applied for for MD. Oh I, no. Yeah, and got rejected by one from DO, but that's okay. You know, wasn't for me. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm currently on rotation, so my rotation is about drug information, which means, let's say a doctor has a really hard question, he doesn't really know what the answer is, doesn't have the time to look it up himself, he'll be like, hey, hey, West Virginia students or people in charge of him, uh, what, how do you do solve this issue? And we'll wait, find the answer on PubMed or something and send it back to him. Wow, that's really interesting. So what are you doing right now? Um, <laughs> right now I'm just studying for the MCAT. I started studying in September, like full on throttle. Um, I started in August, but I was just kind of like, I just graduated like college. So, um, so I graduated in May. So, um, I kind of took May off. I was doing some, uh, an internship, but I started in August, kind of like a couple hours a day. And then now I'm just trying to do more than four up to six. I'm trying to get up to eight hours a day. Um, for MCAT. It's not a bad uh, idea. Yeah, but it's it's a lot. It's rough. It is rough. It is rough. Um, but I do have to take two classes next semester because like that, that extra year that I took um, did not really cover all of my classes. And I decided to take a semester um, off uh, because of COVID. So I kind of really just didn't need to. Yeah, um, it's, it's rough with COVID right now. Yeah, but I am taking calculus. I'm taking organic chemistry too, the second one, and I think I'm gonna take some bio class, like uh, genetics. Um, I already took micro, so I don't know what other biology class I could take. But I'll have to talk to my advisor about that. Did you take but cell I... bio? No, I have not. That might be it. Might be it. I'll it's, take. It's interesting. I'll take say about. Did you like it? It was hard, but. I mean, I got to be in it, so it wasn't too bad, but it was okay. Okay. I might take then cell bio and genetics, because I know the genetics is offered in the college that I'm looking for. Um, so I might do gen and cell bio. Do you have the books then, too? That would be awesome. Uh, for cell bio, we didn't really use a book. Oh, okay. And we used like an online book or something like that. That was weird. Mm. We mostly just had PowerPoints, and the teacher put PowerPoint. We knew the PowerPoint you passed. Okay. Uh, but I do need more shadowing. I know you have a ton of shadow. How much yeah. shadowing do you have? So one of my rotations is pretty much shadowing. So there's 200 hours there. 
I shadowed a eye surgeon who's an MD for eight hours during my rotation. I went to the hospital and also shadowed and, another and you shadow DO you. too. Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, so I, I do need a lot more shadowing. But hey, that's, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Yeah. And then see you next video, guys. Likes, comment, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. We'll see you next hey. time. See you guys next time.